What up, DHS? This is uh, Aiden coming back at you with uh, the second podcast of physics, which is 1.2 graphing motion. Um, I'm going to show you some, a simulation here for graphing motion, and it's called the running man. Okay, so I, there's a few things I want to show you. First, I want to show you position. Let, let's take a look at if, if Abe Lincoln here or whoever that is um, is at positive three, a position of positive three, and I I push play. Dude, he ain't moving. His position, you can see, the position time graph is going at a, a, a positive 3. That's this top one right here. The velocity time graph, he's not moving. His displacement is not moving. Remember our, our equation for, displace, for velocity is displacement, change of displacement, over change of time. And you can see this one is not moving, so he's at 0 right there. He's not accelerating, so it's at 0. And any time we want to go from a position time, to a velocity time, to an acceleration time, we're going to take the slope. What's the slope of the blue graph, the position time? It's zero. So that would be my velocity. What's the slope of that line? Zero. So that's my acceleration. It, now, he, he could be at a position of negative three. Look at where he is. He's at negative three there. And again, if I push play, he would be at negative three. Time's rolling along, but there's no velocity and there's no acceleration there. Okay, let me clear this bad boy up. Let me put uh, this guy back at zero, the running man, and let's do a velocity of half a meter per second. And I'm going to start this guy, and he's going to go at a constant velocity. His velocity is constant, but what's changing? His position is changing, but what's not changing is his acceleration. He's not accelerating. He's going to constant velocity. And I'll stop him right at the house. You can take a look. What happened with my velocity time graph? This was constant. It was a flat line. So if we want to find the acceleration time graph, we take the slope. If we ever want to go back a graph, always take the area under the curve. So if I want to know how far this dude has gone, I take the area under the velocity time graph. And that would tell me what position he's at. If I took the area under the red, I would get an area of 6, approximately. Because what's his position right now? It's 6. It's 6. He went from 0 to 6. And you can see what's happening with the position time graph. It's a straight line. Okay. Let me show you. Let me clear this bad boy up. Let me bring him back to a position of 0. And I'm going to do negative 0.5. And you're going to see what's going to happen here. His velocity time graph is, at, is in the negative region because it's negative 0.5. And what's happening to the, the position time graph? It's still a linear slope. And, but it's negative. It's negative. Okay. Still, there's no acceleration. I know you're dying. You're dying to, for me to show you acceleration, aren't you? What happens with an acceleration? And here's the running man. He's going to accelerate. Look at him. He's going to get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. He's going to cover more and more and more and more and more distance over time. And you can see what happens here is look at this graph of position time graph. It is a, it's a curve here. It's a curve, and it's nonlinear, okay? But look at the velocity time graph. This velocity time graph is linear because he's continuing to accelerate one meter per second, um, or he's continuing to accelerate little by little by little um, constantly. He has constant acceleration. His acceleration time graph is at a constant value of 0.1. Okay, now I know you're dying for me to show you negative acceleration. Negative acceleration just means he's starting, he's accelerating in a negative direction. It could mean he's slowing down too, but you can see what's happening to the position time graph. It kind of looks like a sad face, isn't it? Because it's negative acceleration. The velocity time graph is linear and it's going in the negative direction. The green graph, the acceleration is constant, and it's in the negative region right there. Hey guys, this is the how to graph motion. The big two things you want to know about graphing motion is if you want to go ahead in a graph from a position time to a velocity time to an acceleration time, take the slope. If you want to go the other way, take the area. If you want to find the instantaneous velocity, Take the instantaneous slope, okay? Um, dude, go to 
www.mrayton.com. Go to AP Physics, go to 1.2 Graphy Motion, and there's going to be a link for um, a Google Docs. Go in. Uh, I'll have a few questions there for you to answer, and uh, I'll catch you later. Alligator.